What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. 2022 is finally over and we're going to be heading into 2023, which I'm really excited for. So today I'm going to be doing my pretty much 2022 wrap up and what to look forward to for 2023. I do this video every year just to prepare my viewers uh, and look back at the previous year, but also to prepare what's going to come in the new year. So I'm really excited for this. Uh, so this past year, a lot of great things did happen. Um, I did work a lot, but I did get to take a vacation. Uh, me and Ashley went to Niagara Falls for like four or five days, which was awesome to uh, get to relax and do that. Uh, the only thing is a couple days after we returned, uh, and I never mentioned this in previous videos because I didn't think it was necessary, but looking back at 2022, I might as well mention it. A couple days after we returned, I did have a pretty nasty fall at home and I ended up being out of work for two months uh, and a couple weeks. So it was definitely frustrating. I messed up both knees, my left shin and my left foot and ankle. I guess I had some torn ligaments and stuff like that. So definitely was a struggle uh, during that time of, uh, I think it was around September 24th and I never returned until November 28th, something like that. Uh, it definitely was a struggle, could barely walk, could barely stand, couldn't really drive. So during that time, I didn't get to go see my family. It was more just resting, recovering, doing physio once a week, stuff like that. Um, and it did overall suck. I didn't get to record that many videos just because I wasn't really up to it. But luckily, I scheduled my videos in advance far enough that I had that whole time period covered uh, with videos that were already pre-recorded and scheduled to come out around those times. So that was great. Uh, then I did return to work for two weeks. And then I did start my vacation, which I currently am on and just finishing up. I was on vacation for the past two weeks and a lot of people at work wanted me just to cancel my vacation just because I just came back to work two weeks prior to that uh, from being off for two months. But where I work, if you don't use your vacation, you'll lose it. And as a part-timer, I can't roll any vacation to the next year. So if I don't take it, I'm going to lose having that time off. And since during the injury, I wasn't able to spend much time with family, during my vacation around Christmas is exactly what I wanted to do, spend a lot more time with family, recover, relax, do some videos, catch up on some gaming, and just take time for me. And that's exactly what I have been doing. So that's pretty much a uh, what's happened to me for 2022. As far as for the channel and what we've done, uh, I think it was around early December, or maybe it was the end of November, we finally hit 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which has been amazing. So I did make a video about that uh, shortly after we did hit that milestone. And I just once again wanted to say thank you guys for all of your love and support. We definitely could not have done it without you guys. And that's due to a lot of uh, some of my videos over the past few years, a lot of my tech videos and that's just all of a sudden blowing up. And that's what's motivating me to want to make more content because a lot of people are loving those. As far as other videos that's going to be happening for 2023, I'm really excited because this year, um, going into 2023, I have prepared the most out of any year of what I want to record and what I want to do for new videos for the next year. So for 2023, I already have for the most part the whole year planned out. Not dotted and like exactly what it's going to be because a lot of my plans and a lot of my videos do change and sometimes some videos might be scrapped while others just might be rescheduled to a later date so I always make room for stuff like that happening but I usually do two videos a week every Tuesday and Saturday Saturdays are always uh, gaming videos, whether it's tech videos, trophy, walkthrough, uh, just gameplay videos, different fun videos like that so that revolve gaming or gaming news. And then um, Tuesdays is usually anything else. So it could be about my reselling business. It could be about my career advice. It could be about uh, any other thing. Uh, that I do videos for and one of those is going to be me and Ashley are going to be doing a lot more taste tests for 2023 and we already have a couple films and we're really excited about that so we're going to be continuing it's going to be about once a month we're going to do a video and upload a video uh, that's both of us but doing taste tests and different things like that it was a lot of fun you guys loved it in the past so we're going to bring that back to the channel another thing for this year we're going to be doing a lot more 
uh, voiceover work, a lot more gameplay, a lot more creative videos are coming your way as well. And I also have a whole ton of tech videos for different consoles, different problems with PS5, PS4, Xbox, uh, Nintendo, a whole bunch of stuff coming your way for new tech videos because that stuff for some reason seems to blow up and it does help a lot of people. So I absolutely love making content on that. Another thing to look forward to for 2023 is going to be more uh, truck and vehicle advice, whether it's me doing upgrade on my truck and showing you guys the process of how to do something as simple as changing the air filter on your vehicle or changing the LED bulbs on your vehicle, which I've done different things like that, or just what you should be doing, what's the difference between conventional and synthetic oil in your vehicle and different things like that, since I do have a vehicle uh, background, and that's something else that I want to talk about in this video is working at the casino, doing security for the past three years. Actually, I'm going on my fourth year now, I guess. Um, it's been great, but the overnights are definitely starting to affect me and starting to hurt me in a sense. I am always sore, I'm always tired, and I kind of want to do a Monday to Friday, so a couple companies actually reached out, and I have a couple things in the works that I'm planning for 2023. I might do a career switch, um, but that will definitely be a huge change, but whenever that does happen, I will be announcing that on the channel and sharing that journey with you guys, but it's not that I hate where I work, it's just I want m something that's Full time, hopefully Monday to Friday, pays more would be nice, uh, and something that's more consistent. And doing the overnights, some nights are extremely boring, there's nothing to do, so you're basically just sitting the whole time. And other nights, there's just so much to do that you're just getting a pounding headache from it. So, almost to the point where I'm tired of going in for the overnights, but working there, I would only choose the overnights because the other two shifts, days and afternoons, are just not for me. They're just working there would definitely not be for me. So we'll see what happens, but definitely some changes for 2023, not only with myself, with work, uh, but also with the channel, new videos coming your way. And I'm really excited. Again, this is the first year that's going into the new year. I have it planned out for like eight months worth of videos already uh, decided and research, research has already started and I'm already planning out if not already recording and making the thumbnails for some of those videos. So I'm really excited to put in all of this work and hopefully it does pay off because this past year finally hitting 5,000 subscribers was great. I think realistically by the end of 2023, I would love to be around 7,500. I think that's a great realistic number since this past year we got, I think a little over 3,000 subscribers. I think for the new year, just hoping for 2,500 subscribers, I think would be awesome get us up to 7,500. I think that's realistically where we could hopefully be. I'd love to see higher, but that's realistically where I'd love to be. But yeah, thank you guys for an amazing year. And definitely I'm looking forward to 2023 to see what is going to happen and some new upscaling for the reselling business as well, which I don't have much to discuss about that for this video but a lot of new stuff for the new year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.